Yeah, good evening, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to our support group, Pay Good Beginnings Forward uh, support group. So this is the movement I started last year called Pay Good Beginnings Forward Movement. Yeah, you're probably wondering why good beginnings. A lot of people ask me, so good beginnings starts from before you get pregnant. <laughs> Preparation before pregnancy, and of course, uh, pregnancy and first year after birth. So the first 1,000 days of our life uh, shape the health and well-being of you know all, all our life, life, lifelong, lifelong health. So there's you know so much you can do, and it is an important period. Is the uh, the precious time is a time you know a journey of discovery. I call that yeah. So today our segment is about uh, birth stories. So our topic is about birth stories, which is uh, in our prenatal health segment. For those who don't know me, my name is Kong Chun Yen. You can call me Yen in short. Um, I always joke about the Japanese Yen, but I'm Malaysian. <laughs> so um, I'm the founder of Birth Discovery. I changed my business name from uh, Chapel of Odyssey to Birth Discovery. So I'm also the founder of Pay Good Beginnings Forward <clears throat> Support Group, supported by a team of holistic practitioners uh, in town. And some of us are Good Beginnings Angels. So we contribute to the community regularly uh, in our session. So today, why I, I decided to host this session about birth stories. Yeah, we can all learn uh, a lot about birth stories, whether you are first time mother, second time mom, or third time, fourth time even, right? So when we reflect on it, we actually can uh, learn so much about it. It's not about right or wrong. Um, it's about, you know, finding, um, finding uh, I call that a self-sabotaging pattern. You know, some of us may have a good experience, some of us may not have a good experience, but uh, it, it's just an experience, but it's good to, to um, reflect on it and get to know more about yourself. And it, at the end of the day, it's all about family, future health. Yeah, so that's our focus in this group. It's about family, future health. It's not just the health of the baby, but health of the mother, um, the father and the children. So when I say, you know, future health, what 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 are we uh, focusing on? What what are we emphasizing here? Yeah, total health, holistic health. Yeah, so holistic health means um, your physical health, which is very important. Yeah, mental health, emotional health, and spiritual health. And you know, recently I add one more, uh, your financial health. <laughs> Do you agree with me? <laughs> when you have all those holistic health, of course, financial financial health is important as well. Yeah, because today we have mummies here are going to share with us about their birth story, and especially now you have um two children so you can share with us what is it uh how did you prepare for for your birth when you were first pregnant what were you looking for yeah and how do you prepare and at the end what's your experience like and what's the lesson yeah the lesson for yourself okay Kirstin, may I invite Kirstin to share and Kirstin is the mother of two now <laughs> Yeah, take, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Yen. Um, yeah, my oldest is five and a half now, so I yeah I had to think about this and and go back in my memory. So I guess before I was pregnant with my first, um, my my idea about childbirth was from TV and all the horrible TV scenes of giving birth that you see, and also from my mother, who I'm one of three children and her births were quite horrible in comparison so she was in labor with my oldest brother for 48 hours and we were all forceps delivery and it sounded quite horrible um, and so I guess that was the picture I had in my mind that terrified me and so I think from you know a stupidly young age I was quite worried about one day having to give birth with with those ideas in my head and then um, when we got pregnant, we were so fortunate because I'd never heard of hypnobirthing, but a few people mentioned it to us when I was pregnant. And um, 
And so I thought, oh, okay, this is good. Because the other thing for me is that I hate needles. <laughs> so as much as I wanted like to take away any pain, I also didn't want an epidural or, or a cesarean or anything like that. So um, yeah, quite difficult. So when, when we got introduced to hypnobirthing by a couple of people and uh, introduced to Yen um, and Marie Mongan's hypnobirthing book, the first chapter of that Marie Mongan hypnobirthing book just changed my life, basically. I just, and I've said to friends since, just read the first chapter because it changes your entire perception from this being a very medicalized event and a scary event to um, giving you confidence that this is exactly what nature intended and all about the the fear, tension, pain cycle, um, and just giving you back that confidence, I guess, that that it's a very natural thing and it doesn't have to be um, quite so medicalized. So that just completely, I just, that just resonated with me. It was like all the light bulbs went off and it was just incredible. Um, and so then preparing, we we're very lucky Yen was like a hypnobirthing instructor so I think because we'd only come we'd only learned about it I can't remember how far through my pregnancy was so it was a little bit rushed so we had, we had these sessions with Yen where she would come to our house and we'd go through you know a lot of the exercises and the visualizations and the breathing techniques and the relaxation things um, and it was just it was just a really amazing experience and I think it helped as well um, to actually start to connect with the baby even before the, the baby was born which I think was really special um, as well so I just learned so much through that that whole experience and I think I'm just so so grateful that people had mentioned it to me because I really do think it changed my life so we had this amazing preparation. My husband was very on board with it. Um, he's an osteopath and he's quite a holistic person as well. So I think it resonated with him too. And I think actually he just would have been done anything that, that I'd feel <laughs> happy with as well. So he was really supportive, which um, really helped. Um, and then, so yeah, so we had this sort of great preparation in the end after finding hypnobirthing. And another thing that I did want was a water birth. I always feel quite calm in the water. I'm a Pisces and I, I like the water. So I think the two, the hypnobirthing and having the water birth helped me immensely. And, um, and I gave birth at NUH. It was a eight and a bit hour labor. I got to have my water birth, everything went well. Like I just, it still almost brings a tear to my eye because it's like I would have never imagined in my wildest dreams to have such a good experience after what had been in my head for years and years and years. Um, so a lot of the things that helped me were really the visualization and the breathing. I think I had my eyes closed <laughs> for eight hours while I was in labor, just blocking everything else out. Um, so yeah, I just, yeah, it was, it was such a good experience for me. And I'm just, yeah, so grateful. Yen um, and Catherine were a doula um, and having them help and be present at the birth, I think just helped. Um, the support particularly for my husband as well just having somebody else there that had been there and done that and um yeah I meant I didn't need to worry about my husband <laughs> during labor so yeah so it was it was quite amazing the recovery was was really good um and I think one of my one of the big things that I learned as well is that <clears throat> you sort of think that the doctor trains for so many years and they know best and you just do what they say and it seems a bit strange saying this now but you know having the hypnobirthing sessions with Yen and um, doing the birth plan made me realize that you can say no you can do something different that you can do what feels right for you and instead of um, you just sort of putting all your confidence in the in the obstetrician 
having yen, like having done the hypnobirthing and having yen as the doula, it was like it sort of was so much calmer because you know that she had confidence in you even though you're doing this, you know, giving birth for the first time. And so I think that was a really strong, calming influence that just having you in there and you, it gave me confidence because I knew she had confidence that my baby knew what to do and I knew what to do. Um, and so that was quite a big learning point for me, I think. So, yeah, it was amazing. How would you describe your birth experience, Christine? How oh, I describe my birth experience? Um, I, I, I feel very lucky that I got to have the birth experience that I'd hoped for. I don't think I completely, completely did all the hypnobirthing things. Like I still feel um, like I'm not so good at, you know, some of the relaxation techniques and the, you know, meditation things. Like I, I sort of struggle with that, but I just, I think connecting, feeling connected to my baby and working together with my baby during labor. Yeah. That was, that was really helpful when, when you feel connected to the baby and you have a sense of purpose there, right? Mm, yeah. To yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think that helped a lot. And the breathing for me, it was just the breathing, the breathing and just sort of blocking everything else out. Um, and I think, you know, NUH had been really good. Like they really did respect the birth plan and they did, and they did. Um, I remember actually, because they sort of turned, when we got there, they, they were like, okay, that's fine. And they checked something and then they just turned the lights off and left. And I was sort of like, I know that's what I asked for, but. Ah. <laughs> that was um, nice. Yeah, but yeah. What about your second birth experience? Do you, do you think you learned something different in your second birth as compared to the first one? Um, I learned to be a bit more organized packing the hospital bag. <laughs> we were a bit unorganized with the first one and both of my children were early. Um, no, I think, I think I just felt so fortunate because I know a lot of people that have had a tough time with their first are terrified about doing it again with their second. Mm -hmm. And so I felt, um, I felt good. I felt calm about doing it again. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think I, I don't think there was anything sort of additional that I learned second time around, but I, I just feel grateful that some of the terror that friends of mine have experienced going second time around yeah, it wasn't there because I knew that I'd had such a good experience. Mm, great. Thank you, Christine. That was really awesome. <laughs> you shared quite, quite, quite a bit, quite, quite a good point. I hope the rest um, are getting the juice of it. Yeah.